Okay, 13-7, using sampling to predict. A couple of keywords here, obviously sampling and predictions. Predictions are never 100%, so this is almost a different form of estimation. So what it's looking at is if we take a group of people and ask them a certain question just to get some, some feedback, we may not necessarily ask every single person. Um, for example, if you took this school and you have let's say there are 500 people or 500 students in the eighth grade and let's say you know let's let's assume we're not at Bixby but let's say we're starting a brand new school and we haven't decided the mascot of the school and we haven't decided the school colors so let's say we go to um, we go to 50 students okay so we're gonna poll 50 students okay so let's say we polled 50 students and these are the results that came up um, out of those 50 students, the five choices that were given were Wildcats, Spartans, Lions, and Tigers, and Bears. Oh my. So we had, um, let's say, eight that wanted to be Wildcats. Let's say 16 that wanted to be Spartans. Let's say 10 that wanted to be Lions. Let's see, that's... Uh, 26, 34, I need 16, and let's say 9 wanted to be tigers and 7 wanted to be bears. Okay, and that's a that's a sampling that somebody could use to predict, to predict. We use this in the survey method as well. So they would look at that and say, okay, well Spartans is going to be the most. Now what percentage would that be? Again, we did 50 students, so Wildcats would be 8 out of 50. 8 out of 50, so if we did that as a percent, if we take 8 and divide it by 50, that's going to give us 16%. Again, these are just estimations. And then for Spartans, we're going to do 16 divided by 50 which should double the 16, that would be 32%. Okay, then we have 10 out of 50, which is going to be 20%. Then we have 9 divided by 50, which is 18%. And then finally, we have 7 divided by 50, which is going to be 14%. Okay, so there's our percentages. Again, this is just a sample. So if we had 500 students of our sampling, what would be the average amount of students that would pick Spartans? So we would take that 500. Let's see, let me put this over here, Spartans. Obviously, this is going to be the clear winner. We already know that. We're going to take 500 students and then multiply it by our percentage, which is a uh, change to a decimal. So that's going to be 500 times 0.32. Okay, 500 times 0.32. And that's going to give us 100 and 60 students. So from our sampling of 50 we can get an average that that probably 160 of our 500 students would vote for that particular mascot. Now here are some things we need to consider. Is our prediction biased or unbiased? biased or unbiased 
what would make a sampling biased? Well, let's say that we just asked um, those 50 people that we asked, let's just say we asked the boys only. Okay, boys only representation would be great if this was an all boy school, but because we do have boys and girls to get an unbiased sample, we would need to ask boys and girls okay to get an unbiased sample we would ask uh, both genders now some other things that would be unbiased maybe you um, maybe you polled one single class and asked them who their favorite teacher in the school was okay now obviously that's going to be a biased sample because uh, you have people in that class who haven't had other teachers and they would be under the influence of the teacher that's in the classroom so that would be a biased sample now if we pulled five students from every class and asked them the same question that would be an unbiased sample okay guys that's it for today just a little over six minutes about six and a half minutes once we get done here just a heads up um, screencasts are getting a little low on views so uh, we're going to do another another extra credit. So on Friday, if you wear a blue top, um, and that's primarily blue, navy blue is fine, royal blue is fine, baby blue is fine, any type of blue, then you will receive extra credit on your notebook for watching screencasts. Okay, so blue on Friday. We'll see you in the morning.